are now working to get out their message about the abortion ballot referendum in Missouri. Capitol reporter Hannah Falcon talked to both campaigns about their efforts. We will win in November. This amendment uh, will be defeated. Both sides are confident as they launch their campaigns ahead of the November election. With less than 80 days, Missourians for constitutional freedom and Missouri right to life are both trying to draw voters to opposite sides of the abortion issue. This is the proposed amendment. It would enshrine abortion access in the Missouri Constitution. If passed, Missouri would become the first state to restore abortion access after a total ban since the Dobbs decision two years ago. A yes vote on Amendment 3 ends Missouri's abortion ban. Mallory Schwartz tells me Missourians for constitutional freedom started knocking on doors as soon as they knew Amendment 3 would be on the ballot. Their hope is to draw out voters with the knowledge that abortion is on the ballot. We know that engaging with your neighbors is the best way to get this message out. And we also know that Missourians of all backgrounds, zip codes and experiences oppose political interference. Missouri Right to Life launched its Vote No campaign the day Amendment 3 was added to the ballot. Uh, the general public uh, in Missouri uh, is very pro-life. Susan Klein is confident Missouri will vote down the amendment, but is still using every tool at her disposal to educate Missourians on what she says would be the negative consequences. Um, we see in the other states uh, where these laws have been, uh, or amendments have been enshrined in uh, their constitutions, uh, we see that the protections for women are taken away. Shores tells me it's not the opposing campaign she's most worried about, however. She says the number one obstacle to passing Amendment 3 is the politicians in office opposed to abortion. Reporting in Jefferson City, I'm Hannah Falcon, KY3 News.